Hi, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. Do you eat a lot of fish? Do you have um, mercury fillings in your mouth? So you've had cavities and if you open up, you see silver in there. Uh, those fillings are laden with mercury. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about is mercury overload or it can be mercury toxicity and when it's really severe, mercury poisoning. So, um, Mercury, the source, is primarily, as I mentioned, fish and also the fillings in your teeth. Also, high fructose corn syrup, uh, believe it or not, is a source of mercury. And um, most of us know that that's something that should be avoided at all costs regardless. But not a lot of people know that there's mercury residues within high fructose corn syrup. Um, in the news recently, Tony Robbins was in the news. He was... He had been plant-based for many years and then decided to add fish to his diet. He's a big guy, he eats a lot, and he was eating a lot of tuna and a lot of swordfish, and all of a sudden he was noticing fatigue and memory issues. His wife got quite concerned because he was just starting to act not his normal self, and uh, sure enough, he had mercury toxicity from the excess of um, fish that he had been consuming. And there's different types of mercury. There's organic mercury, which is more found in fish, and then there's methyl mercury, which would be environmental toxins and also uh, the fillings. And it's the methyl mercury that's considered most dangerous, but you can certainly get an overabundance of the organic mercury, as in the fish, and, um, and really be in trouble. The CEO of IMAX was similarly mercury poisoned, unfortunately. Um, he didn't get to it in time. He walks with a cane. He has permanent nerve damage and mercury can do that. Um, Tony got to Dr. Christopher Shade who runs Quicksilver Labs. It's not called, sorry, Quicksilver Scientific. That's the name of his lab. And um, they got his mercury levels down really fast so he didn't have any permanent damage which was amazing. Uh, so. A lot of people can be suffering with this and not know it. Um, and it can, it can bioaccumulate, so accumulate over your lifetime. Again, if you've had uh, mercury fillings, even if they've been removed, if they weren't removed well, uh, that can be another issue. So some of the symptoms, uh, fatigue, headaches, memory issues, moodiness. Um, let's see, you can have uh, what else are the symptoms? Joint pain. Um, it can get where you're starting to have pins and needles and that's the early stages of some of the neurologic damage. So it's very, very critical to um, not just change your diet, but measure these levels if, if you have the wherewithal to do so because um, it's not something that just stopping to eat the fish is, is enough. Um, this is something that really resides in your tissues and is very, very toxic and very, very damaging. So um, if you've ever heard the expression, the Mad Hatter, if you remember Alice in Wonderland, um, hatters, people who made hats, uh, used mercury as part of what they, part of how they made hats back in the day. Uh, you, can, you can do the historical uh, look and get the specifics, but that's where the expression Mad Hatter came from because um, they, they went mad because of the mercury toxicity. So uh, it can be very, very serious. And, and you think, you know, in today's age, we're, we're not, not living in a toxic environment, but the truth of the matter is we're living in a highly toxic environment. So when it comes to fish, they're not all to blame. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Tony Robbins was eating a lot of t uh, tuna and swordfish. Uh, shark is um, on that list as well as sea bass and you can look up the other fish that are you know you can google it and see the ones that are that are highest in that uh, it sees bigger fish that they bioaccumulate mercury unfortunately from our toxic oceans now on the other end of the spectrum you can enjoy sardines and um, herring and anchovies which are tiny little fish and uh, the joke is you could eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the rest of your life and never be <laughs> mercury toxic because they just don't have any or what they have is so infinitesimally small that it would never cause a problem. So uh, these big fish have a thousand times the mercury that, um, 
that uh, you should be getting in your diet. There's definitely salmon that can be enjoyed and different types of salmon have different levels of mercury so you can definitely look that up as well. So what do you do about it? So first you have to get tested. Um, the Quicksilver Scientific, they look at uh, hair and blood and urine. Um, it turns out you should have seven times the amount of mercury in your urine as your blood, which means you're, anything that's coming in you're excreting, and that's what's really key. If you have uh, more in your blood than in your urine, that means you're holding onto it, which is uh, dangerous. So then how do you get rid of it? You've maybe heard of chelation. I, I don't recommend it. Chelation can be uh, too fast. People can, can really uh, do very poorly and, and have kind of crashes. Uh, on chelation, which is why we've uh, never done it here at the clinic. We've been testing for mercury for a long time. I do like Quicksilver. Uh, Dr. Shade is a smart guy and he's uh, dedicated his life. I think he has a, a PhD <laughs> in, in studying mercury, so uh, he's very smart with detoxification, etc. So he has some good products uh, through, through his company. Um, but, and it's so much easier than chelation, you know, you're getting an IV, so these are things you can take orally. And what, what has to happen is that you don't want to start pulling toxins out if you can't flow toxins through. So your liver and your kidneys have to flow the toxins through, the gallbladder um, sort of drains the liver cells, and then it goes into your uh, gut and you, you poop it out and your kidneys similarly drain it through and you pee it out. Uh, so those systems, those drainage systems, they're called of the body, have to be flowing and have to be moving. You don't want to start mobilizing toxins when you're not flowing because then things back up and that makes the problem worse. So sometimes people do detox programs and they feel really badly on them. It's because they didn't get the, the drainage flowing first and you get a backlog and then things are recirculated and it's like just getting the toxin over and over and over again. So it's really damaging. The other thing is that the body unfortunately likes to hold on to mercury and if our drainage systems were working really well and our gut microbiome, meaning the good bacteria, uh, were working really well, your healthy gut microbiome can actually turn the methylmercury into the less, um, uh, the safer organic mercury and, and help you excrete it. So that's with a healthy microbiome, a healthy gut, which unfortunately a lot of people don't have. So we need to uh, get the gut healthy and then also we can look at your genetics. That's something we do here at the clinic is uh, nutritional genomics. Uh, Tony Robbins mentioned my methylation is not very good and that's just a genetic thing um, where you're just not, um, you, you don't detox as well as you could from a genetic standpoint. So everything has to be looked at, you know, so looking at, again, the drainage systems and the gut and then what's coming in at you and then how your body is, is getting rid of it and how to enhance your body's ability to get rid of it while making sure you change what's coming in at you. So there are things called binders that are, are natural. Charcoal, believe it or not, is an amazing binder. And so there's a combination of binders that we use in one product and it just sort of gloms onto the toxin and just pulls it out of the body because unfortunately it likes to be recirculated. So um, I just wanted to share this with you. I um, recently heard uh, Tony Robbins talking and he mentioned, uh, of course now he's a very big <laughs> proponent about getting your mercury levels checked and um, I, it made me realize that it's something I haven't talked about much and it's definitely something we do here at the clinic which is checking for toxins of all sorts including heavy metals. So if you think your uh, mercury or arsenic or cadmium or any of these heavy metals might be high uh, and you'd like some assistance please reach out. Uh, we're more than happy to assist. The program is gentle so you're not going to go into some crazy crash because things are being done too quickly. They're going to be done in the right order. And again, that's really, really critical. So I hope this was informative. If your health is not the way you want it to be, please reach out. The telephone number here is 408-733-0400. I'll talk to you soon.